Hey guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I am bringing you guys my monthly update video where I show you guys everything I got in May of 2015. I think I did a little bit better this month on my goals of unboxing and reviewing stuff. Obviously didn't get around to everything, but I think I'm happy with where I got this month. Uh, so these are in no particular order. Um, got the Cut Bank Blu-ray. And I think this month I'm not going to add the annotations on the screen. I'll put the links in the description if you guys want to check out any of the videos. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, it's a lot of work to add all the, the links on the screen. I don't know if you guys ever click on them. And if you aren't, it's really not worth the time to add them. So Cut Bank, this guy witnesses a murder in his hometown of Cut Bank. Um, I did do an unboxing of this, but unfortunately I haven't got to watch it yet. Hopefully today or tomorrow. Orange is the New Black Season 2. Great show. Um, I did an unboxing of this. I haven't watched the Blu-ray Blu yet, but I did watch it on Netflix already. Life After Beth DVD. Um, this one's been out for a while. I picked it up for like $2 at Hastings Used. John C. Riley, Molly Shannon, Aubrey Plaza. I don't know. Dane Dehan? Or Dehan? Some kind of zombie comedy thing. Pick this one up again at Hastings for $7.99. A Chris, Disney's A Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey in 3D. Haven't seen that one. Reach Me with a whole bucket list of stars. Um, Tom Berenger, uh, Terry Crews, Kelsey Grammer, Tom Sizemore, Sylvester Stallone, and of course, best for last, Danny Trejo, Reach Me. I haven't seen this one either. I picked this up at Hastings for like $1.99. Um, I think the wife picked this one at Hastings. It was uh, like a dollar when I bought the... <laughs> the Christmas Carol is like, buy only deal for a dollar or something. Uh, I picked this one up at Hastings as well. Shark Swarm, part of the Man Eater series. I'm trying to collect this whole set. I don't know. I haven't tried to check in a while to see how many there are. Um, I think I have eight or ten of them. I was like six dollars at Hastings. Uh, Two dollars at Hastings used Red Clover, part of the After Dark Originals. Another set I'm trying to collect all of. Um, I have all of like the one, two, three, and four. I think I'm missing a couple of the originals. And I don't know, did they ever start releasing the like their second set of originals? I don't know. It's hard to keep track of. Um, another one for two dollars used at Hastings. Scarecrow. This actually has Lacey Shatbert in it, which I didn't know that, and she was a the little girl on Party of Five, and she was on, oh, what was it, like Saw 2 or 3, and um, I know she was on Not Another Teen Movie, you know her if you see her, um, Hot Tub Time Machine 2 Blu-ray, um, I did do a unboxing and review of this one, I wasn't a big fan of it, I just, it wasn't that funny or interesting, um, I got the Blues Brothers, Steelbook Edition. I will be having an unboxing going up with this. I haven't put it up yet, though. And then I also got the Big Lebowski Steelbook. Um, the only thing I'm missing from this set now is the Incredible Hulk. But it's gone missing. Like, Amazon doesn't have it anymore. Um, I can't find it anywhere but eBay, and they're asking, like, at least $20. And I'm sure that price is going to go up. But I really don't want to pay $20 for it. <laughs> But it's the only one I need, so it's like, gonna have to, I guess. Um, Werewolf, The Beast Among Us. I uh, picked this one up on Amazon. Uh, werewolf movie. Um, I did an unboxing of it, but I have yet to watch it. Oh, this one's heavy. <laughs> I got this Wanted Collector's Set DVD edition. Uh, when I bought this, I didn't realize that they also had the same edition on Blu-ray. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I would have bought the Blu-ray, because the DVD was only $10, and when I saw the Blu-ray, it was like $25. It's a cool set, but the only difference would have been the Blu-ray disc, and I already have two copies of it on Blu-ray. So it's cool just to have all these features, and for a little less money. Put that on Amazon. I didn't mention that. Uh, Arrested Development Season 4, I got on Amazon. I watched this on Netflix. 
just recently actually and then I bought the DVD so I watched it again on DVD. I love Arrested Development, it's one of my favorite shows. Um, I picked up this this month, it's not a DVD or a movie, but I got the, the blue Tobias Fugue Funko Pop. Um, imitation game about the Enigma Code, uh, it was like $15 on Amazon. I haven't watched this yet, and I did an unboxing, I haven't posted it yet, so be sure to be looking for that. Um, Captain Phillips, Blu-ray, I got it at Savers, I believe it was, let me see the tag, Savers for $3. Um, it has the code in there, I haven't checked to see if it's good, if it is, I'll probably give the code away. Um, same with Abduction, I got that for $3 at Savers. I'll check those codes, and if they're good, I will give them away. About halfway done here. <laughs> Frank and Weenie 3D. Got this free on the Disney Movie Rewards. Um, I haven't watched this yet. I did an unboxing, but it's not up yet. Got a lot of unboxings to catch up on. <laughs> also got this on Disney Movie Rewards for free. It's a R2D2 bobblehead. Um, I haven't I haven't checked it out yet. <laughs> I don't know if I want to like. It's not sealed, but I don't know if I want to take it out of the package. Next up, we got The Cobbler with Adam Sandler. I got this on Amazon for like 13 I believe it was, on day one. It was actually a pretty decent movie. Um, not produced by Adam Sandler or um, directed by Adam Sandler, but I did an unboxing and review of this. It's worth checking out. American Dad Volume 8. I did an unboxing of this. I liked it. I already watched it on Netflix, though. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, Bones, the ninth season. I think we got this one at Best Buy. It was like 18, I think. My wife's a big fan. Um, I remember watching it like when it was pretty new, but I really don't watch TV that much anymore, so... Um, it's it's okay show. I got this one at Best Buy as well, Sex Tape. Um, I did an unboxing interview of this one. It's um, They make sex tape and then all their friends get it and they try to get it back. and. I think it's very funny. The Men in Black 3 Future Shop exclusive Blu-ray Steelbook. Um, I have an unboxing of this coming out soon. Um, I have yet to see the movie though, but I do own the 3D version, so when I finally get around to it, I'll be watching the 3D. Uh, just Before I Go with uh, Sean William Scott, directed by Courtney Cox. I want to say Jennifer Aniston, but I was like, that's not right. Courtney Cox. Um, Sean William Scott character wants to commit suicide, and he goes to his hometown to, like, resolve all his issues before he does it. It's pretty interesting. I liked it. I definitely recommend it. I think it was only $13 on day one. Um, I did an unboxing and a review of that one. Walk of Shame DVD. Um, Elizabeth Banks has a one night stand with this guy or something and she has to go to a job interview and she has like no money or anything. Um, I got the DVD at Walmart for like five dollars. Um, I will have an unboxing of this and it has like a two dollar voodoo credit I'll be giving away. Um, probably the probably one of the best things this month, the Jurassic Park collection. I did do a unboxing of this. Really nice set if, and if you can get it at a good price definitely recommend it. Super nice. All right, we got Zombievers on Blu-ray, uh, Best Buy exclusive, and it was like $10. I was really looking forward to this one. I thought it was going to be really good, cheesy, horror comedy, B-movie fun. I just felt it was too light on the comedy and too light on the horror. It really failed at both, so I didn't really enjoy that one. I, I would give it average at best. Um, it also has a... I did an unboxing and review of that one. Last up for this month, we have The American Sniper. I got the Target exclusive Steelbook. Wonderful, wonderful movie, wonderful steelbook. Um, I did unboxing and review of this one. Um, it's about uh, Chris Kyle. I always, I, like every time I say it, yeah, okay, Chris Kyle. Like every time I th I th I'm thinking of uh, the guy from Terminator, I don't know why, but um, Kyle Reeves or whatever. Um, but it, it's, it's a true story based on a, a real American sniper. Um, in Iraq. It's a great movie. But that is 
my entire collection for this month. I never counted it. Um, I forgot, I did get Pompeii 3D, but my dad has that, so I don't have that to show to you. Um, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got 30 movies, seasons, or collections. You know, Jurassic Park collection is one. Um, entire season is one. Uh, so a few less than last month, yay. Let's hope. I'm going to try to cut back even more next month. Um, I've only ordered a few things so far. Um, hopefully I can catch up on these unboxings. There's a couple movies from last month I still want to review for you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have anything you'd like to say, we'll leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. If you're interested, be sure to subscribe on YouTube, follow on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and follow on Instagram.